All right, John Ojaka here from musicmarketingmanifesto.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can build a complete marketing funnel for your music in as little as 45 minutes using TunePipe. Now, if you're not familiar with TunePipe, uh, TunePipe is a brand new platform that I have released uh, recently for musicians. Uh, it is available now to everyone. You can uh, try it free for 14 days by heading on over to TunePipe.com. And why TunePipe is relevant to this lesson is because TunePipe is at its core a funnel builder. It allows you to very quickly and, and effectively build uh, marketing funnels for your music. You essentially choose from a variety of funnel strategies, choose from dozens of templates. Uh, it, it includes email marketing, campaign templates. You click a few buttons, edit a little bit of text and a few images using a very elegant and intuitive drag and drop builder, add your products, and more or less, you're away as you're about to see. It's very, very quick. You don't need to know any code. You don't need to be a designer. You, and you don't really even need to necessarily, depending on the strategies you're implementing, have a lot of experience or even feel for marketing. All, all of that work is uh, done for you uh, as much as is humanly possible. Uh, to get you up and running very, very quickly and back to being focused on music. So I, I think that the simplest way to do this is to just show everyone what TunePipe can do. It's a, it's actually a bit of a challenge because it can do so much that in trying to explain it, it becomes perhaps a little, uh, uh, not overwhelming, but there's just so much to cover that it, it's difficult. So I thought, you know, I want to put together a video and just do it. I'm just going to go and build a funnel and show you how it's done. So pour yourself a, a drink, a coffee, a tea, whatever it takes. Sit back, uh, allocate around 45 minutes or so for this because I'm going to do every step of, of building this funnel. The, this, if you've ever tried to do this before, heck, if you've ever even tried to build a website, then you know, you know, this stuff can take uh, or at least historically, it can take weeks, even months to put it together if you if you have no experience with this stuff. It is I've been teaching funnel building to musicians for more than a decade. And while it has been very, very effective, the strategies have been very, very effective. The the building of these funnels has presented a challenge for some people. Historically, we need to cobble together uh, a bunch of different platforms, none of which are really designed for musicians, most of which are expensive to attempt to do what you can now do uh, completely with TunePipe. It, has got, it is a complete marketing solution for musicians. It's got everything you need to market your own music under one roof. Yes, it is a funnel builder at its core, but in addition to that, it is a website builder, it's a music store builder, it's an email marketing tool, uh, it's a membership site creator, it uh, is a split testing tool. Uh, it is, uh, it's got uh, one click upsells and down sells and bump offers and, and a heck of a lot more. It's very, very powerful. Again, today we're just going to be covering uh, funnel building. If you want to learn more about TunePipe, or as I say, try it for free for 14 days, head on over to tunepipe.com, or depending on where you're watching this, there'll probably be a link or a button or something like that uh, below this video or or nearby somewhere okay so that's that's really it head on over set up an account try it for free you you get all of the features um and you can really you'll really get a fantastic sense of what's possible in a very short while um and now I'm going to show you just how easy, easy it, it can be to get up and running. Now, remember, TunePipe includes a number of funnel strategies. I'm going to show you how to build a quick start funnel, which is the fastest way to get up and running. It really requires minimal thinking, minimal assets. Um, it just gets you up and running and away. Um, and in that process, you'll, you'll really see how TunePipe is used and get a good sense of what it can do. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is log in and you're going to be taken to to the uh, home page of your default project. If you've never created a project yet, then uh, you'll be asked to do so. You'll be asked to select a template for either a website or a funnel. I'm going to assume you've already created your first project if you're watching this and then you're going to want to come to my sites and funnels. Here's my primary project. If you don't have one, um, then you won't see this. But you, uh, this is a project. If you build a funnel inside of a project, it inherits all of its its properties. You know, its uh, lists, its products, its tags. Um, 
So it's a good way to go. If you want it to exist outside of a project, then you would uh, create a new funnel here. But I want it to exist inside of a project. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click on create a funnel. And I'm going to then be taken here. Now you can see that I have got uh, dozens of funnels here. Uh, the, I've got multiple categories. Um, each category represents a different marketing strategy. So right now we've got deep sale funnels and quick start funnels. A deep sale funnel is something akin to what you would have learned in Music Marketing Manifesto. Uh, it is a more complex funnel. It is a proven funnel. It works really well, uh, but it does have uh, it does have some additional requirements. You need to create some content, write some blog posts, get your upsells and your downsells together, and um, think through a few more things. It doesn't take a long time. You can still put a deep sale funnel together in a matter of hours um, but a quick start funnel is designed to be completely foolproof for for anyone who's new to this stuff or just wants to see how it works and get your first funnel up and running um, with almost every plan in TunePipe, you can create multiple funnels so go ahead and uh, create a, a quick start funnel get up and running and then try to beat it with a deep sale funnel later when you have a little more time this is a great way to start uh, you can also create a funnel from scratch as you get more advanced but again we're going to focus on quick start funnels so <clears throat> i use the americana template for my website so i'm going to go with the americana template for uh, my funnel so i click select i'm going to give this a name i just i don't know call it funnel uh, and click save and boom my funnel has been created so this is the home page of the funnel this is a squeeze page uh, and the funnel lives here under this funnel looking icon uh, we've got uh, our pages here so we can access the pages here like so but uh, I like to work in the funnel because I can visualize everything uh, these are our funnel steps we've got in this particular funnel a squeeze page we drive traffic to the squeeze page entice people to sign up to our list we've got a uh, thank you page you know, uh, this is the next step in the funnel. If they sign up here, they land on this page. Then our email series takes over and it sends people to uh, various pieces of content. Um, so uh, I'll show you that in a second. But the the um, quick start funnel is different than the deep sale funnel in that we don't create complex blog posts and things like that that live on our website. Instead, we just use existing content that we already have, YouTube videos and things like that to just rely on the strength of our music and get people interested while pushing people towards the next step in the funnel, which is the sales page. Uh, if they order, they get taken to a thank you page. If they don't order and a certain period of time passes, they will eventually get taken to a a discount sales page via email um, that discount sales page is just like the sales page only it uh, has some time sensitivity on that page uh, and if they do order uh, and it also offers a, a, a special discount for a limited amount of time usually three days and uh, if they order they get taken there if they don't in that page that countdown timer expires they will get taken to the sorry page and if you want to move this out of the funnel because it's not a true funnel step and move it to your website you can easily do that and you can add new steps uh, it doesn't come with upsells or downsells because not everyone has them and this is designed to be foolproof but if you want to add an upsell or downsell you can do that here all right and you know remember you can always modify funnels you can delete pages add pages you can use this as a starting place or use it as is now uh, i'll just quickly give you a tour you've seen the squeeze page this is what the sales page looks like um, it's a standard sales page we've got some testimonials we've got an order form uh, and uh, a you know a quote up here an album icon here it's stuff you, you're you're used to seeing by now no doubt a little information about ourselves um, and then uh, let's see let's go to the discount sales page which is this one here which is very similar except it's got this banner up at the top here pressing or uh, pushing this um, or stressing the time sensitivity and the 20% discount. We sell the album for a little bit less, uh, but and we've got these countdown timers, but otherwise everything is the same. So let's start. Let me just show you how to start editing this stuff. We come to the squeeze page. This one sentence here is going to require the most thought of anything that you do. This is the only thing you actually need to really think about. This is where you make a bold claim or promise about the experience that your music offers. Um, it really should be about the experience, the benefit, you know, not just 
uh, get a free download from John Ojaka. You should really try to paint a picture because it is experience. It is tribe that we as music fans like to associate with. And if you can demonstrate that your music has all the qualities that they all that your prospect already consciously uh, values, then there's a very good chance that they're going to take you up on your offer and go to the next step, which is to sign up here. Uh, so I uh, have a sentence that I use a lot, which is kick off your boots, pour yourself a whiskey and get yourself a free download from one of the most refreshing new Americana artists in a very long while. I, I don't like what that did to the formatting. So I'm just going to shrink it down a little bit to 42. And there we go. I'm happy. So I'm just reading all of the copy looking for little placeholder tags and things like that and subbing in my info. Now, uh, this theme, as as chance would have it, happens to have my uh, picture in the uh, theme because every picture has a default artist picture and I designed this template for myself. Uh, so I included my picture. You're going to want to sub that out by clicking that and editing image and clicking that and then just dragging an image in here and selecting it and then clicking select. But I don't need to. So I saved a step. Um, the, then you're if you've added your uh, if you've added your funnel to a project, it's going to have a header on it. I'm going to hide the header. I don't recommend having a header on your funnel uh, landing pages. Um, we really don't want to distract people. We don't want them clicking on that nav bar and checking out, you know, all this information and feeling satiated. We want to limit options. Um, well, now we need to connect our email marketing. So we come here, we come to actually, let's do that again, come to edit settings. Uh, and you can name the form, you can notify me of new subscribers, send notification to John or to my email address, uh, edit the text. Uh, action on submit, go to this page. You want to go to the next funnel step by default, it, it'll be correct, but I'd like to test it because it makes me nervous and I'm going to go to the thank you lead and I'm just going to add it manually. Now, uh, if you want to use Aweber or MailChimp, you can go into your uh, website settings and applications and you can, can, you can integrate with those services. Uh, or you can connect an email marketing list here in the system. So here is my list, John Ojaka Music. If you don't have one, just click Add List and it's that simple. The system will create one for you. Uh, and then you can turn on double opt-in or you can tag contacts on a new message. So we're going to come here. I want to add a tag. I'm going to go J-O subscribers. If you didn't have a tag, you, uh, you could, it would, it would prompt you to create one or let's see, no, actually you can just type it in here. Um, you know, anything you want and create a tag. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. Um, because I've already got the tags in place and that's it. I'm going to click out of there and it's done. So I would come in here. I would uh, sub in my artist name and I really tried to write this to be pretty foolproof. I've got a few assets here. Um, <clears throat> all you need, I don't want you to overthink this. You know, there's a lot that can go into these paragraphs, but just include two or three paragraphs that tell your reader who you are as an artist uh, and, that, and mention your biggest career accomplishments and what your music sounds like. That's all you have to do. Who you are, your biggest career accomplishments, and what your music sounds like. Just two or three paragraphs. Just like think of it as a mini bio and don't overthink it. You should already have a bio like that. Um, and paste it there and then come in here and use uh, for a limited time John Ojaka is giving away his latest single so everything is literally written for you um, you just need to scan it and you know add information where you're prompted to with this template anyway um, uh, with the I should say with these funnels the quick start funnels anyway um, and now again we're coming in here and we're replacing this with um, John Ojaka and we're going to add testimonials so um, or, or quotes I should say uh, media quotes so uh, if you don't have media quotes not to worry uh, media quotes are uh, not essential you can absolutely turn to your social media followers um, and ask for a few quotes from fans you know tell us what you love about our music so we can use it on in our marketing um, and uh, include them here. And those actually work really well. Um, you can use media quotes. If you don't have media quotes, I've got a service for you called nobrainerpr.com for as little as $35, depending on the package you get. You can pay to get guaranteed press coverage of your music. Uh, and you can pull quotes from 
that. So uh, if you've got images of those journalists or maybe their companies, you want to add their logos, you can add them there. If you don't, that's fine. Go ahead and delete them like this. Um, again, this just gets me up and running quickly. I do have images of these uh, these my quotes, but I'm just I'm just making it simple. Well, how many times? Thirty five. Got to get rid of that. There we go. So thirty five. You just want to make sure it's the same. It's a little finicky there. Um, there we go. Let's get down to 35. Uh, how do we make it exactly there? Ah, I keep overshooting it. There we go. And I'm just, I know my quotes. I've got some amazing quotes, one from Elton John. Uh, and then I've got one from Howard Stern. And then I've got one from uh, Robert Hilburn. Uh, from the Los Angeles Times and I've got them written down so I don't have to think about it I'm just gonna paste them in here in between the quotes whoops I think I've got an unneeded couple of things in there get rid of that and pull the rest of these um, let me just go again in between the quotes and paste make sure everything looks right and come in here and Let's see. There we go. Um, and then we just make sure this is set correctly, but it should be. It will have that form tag. This is a jump tag. Um, we are done with this page. Uh, uh, there's really like nothing more to do. Um, we would click save. Um, you can check out the mobile view, make sure you're happy with how things work. That's always a good idea. Uh, you can edit things differently on mobile. So they look one way on mobile and another on uh, desktop, but by default, they should scale pretty well. Um, and now we need to come in and adjust the rest of the pages. Oh, there's one more shortcut here. So, so I don't have to create the, this page again. And again, I think it's lacking without their images, but a lot of people don't have images. So I wanted to kind of just make this quick and painless. We copy that to our clipboard. I don't know if you saw it, but it just jumped over here to our clipboard and we can even let's, um, let's come in here and let's, Let's just copy, uh, let's copy this. Let's get that back on our clipboard. Um, I don't think we need to do anything else for now. Let's come to the sales page. Um, and let's just come here. We're waiting for this to load. So artist names, we're just gonna go. And don't worry, I won't walk you through everything, but I do wanna show you how fast this is. So uh, we need, we need as, um, Elton John once said, and then a media quote, it's good music to listen to. It's good music to listen to. Um, all right. So then we're going to swap out the album image. And again, I've already uploaded my art, uh, so it's it's in this project. Um, but you will need to do that by clicking upload file. I'm just going to do that. You can add additional information. I don't know if you hear those strange noises. That's because uh, a bird is running across the roof right now. Um, we're going to come here. We're going to add our album name, which is Elephant Graveyard. I'm going to go and I, I put together a product description. Again, you should already have all this stuff because you're not just recording you know, music for the first time. Time. You've, you've listed your music somewhere before if not it's just a paragraph and an optional track list um, and then you know you can add things like music videos and all that stuff to a sales page this is just a quick start get you going quickly kind of um, thing we come here we click on settings so you got options we want what's the thank you page I like to set it manually I want to go to the um, thank you sales page and click select uh there's really no need to ask the, for the address when selling digital goods um that's optional uh connect to email marketing again i could add to aweber or i can add to the tunepipe email system there's my list click confirm uh, tag customers on the order so i want to know what they purchased i want to trigger a specific campaign create trigger various automations elephant graveyard customer that's what they're buying that's what i'm selling in this example you can sell digital and physical from the same form in this example i'm just selling uh, 
digital. Uh, that's all we need to do there, but uh, we do need to add the product now, and here's where we select a product. I've already added mine. If you didn't, you'd click Add Store Product. That would take you that would prompt you to save the page take you to the store and then you'd add your product and then you'd come back and then you'd add the product like so and i will just want to find it uh elephant graveyard digital download click confirm and there we go now when somebody purchases this they're going to get a receipt with a download email for this album and about about john ojaka whoops that doesn't want to be why do I always have a capital there include two paragraphs so remember that little bio again you could write something oh I got it on, I removed it from my clipboard uh, you could uh, where is I have it here you could go and write something more specific for the album which I kind of recommend but again if you just want to get up and running fast don't do it and just write the same two paragraphs you used on your squeeze page and we see some um, prompts here so let's fill in um, elephant graveyard by John Ojaka's or on John Ojaka's new album in just a few moments. Um, now remember how we save this section to our clipboard. This is drag it over and then come down here and delete the old one. Looks so much better with the uh, with the images, doesn't it? Um, and we just replace that. Play this album for just $9.95. And then we just make sure we've got our checkout form jump tag there. And we do. And what that means, these jump tags, by the way, is that someone is going to come to the page. Uh, we're just waiting for it to load. And if they're reading, 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 they get to the bottom and they click that. And it just takes them right back up to this form where they can order. Um, so that's how that works. And let's see, what can we, what can we save time on? Um, we can do things like, uh, let's add that. Let's add that. All this going to our clipboard. Uh, let's add that. Um, I don't want to add the same product. Or actually, no, I'll still do this. Let's add that. We're, we're going to replace a lot of options. Um, let's add that. Um, I'm not sure how much the time this saves us, but we come here to funnels. And then we come here to the uh, discount sales page. I said I wasn't going to create the whole thing, but I just about am. Um, so this has this up at the top. Come on, we need to get in, in there. It's, it's confused because the header's in the way. Let's hide that header. Uh, why is it not wanting to let me? There we go, finally. Um, on, oops, nope, on Elephant Graveyard. 72 hours only. Um, now we've got that in here. Let's just drop that in. So, yep, we can delete this one. I'm just, these are just nice little time savers. Uh, I'm actually not going to replace this widget. I want to do it from scratch. I'll show you one in a second. But, whoops, I don't want to do that. I want to skip one and come down here. And now I can delete this. I want to come to number four. And now I can go and delete this. And I can even, why do I keep clicking the wrong things? Um, I can even come in here and add that, just that text so that I don't mess with the button. And drag that up, and there we go. Now, let's come up here. You know, uh, we've got the timer set. By default, it should be 72 hours. Uh, we want when the counter ends, I want to go to a page and I want that page to I want to go to funnel. I want it to be um, I want it to be oops, it took me out of there. I want it to be um, sorry, my phone is buzzing away there. I want to come to checkout. And, uh, no, I'm not checkout. What am I doing? I want to go to the sorry page and click select. And there we go. And again, it, by default, it's it should all be doing that. Um, but we want to switch that album out, edit image. Um, you know, here's an, another little trick you can do, even if you don't want to copy the whole section over. If I do this, I can do things like um, copy this right from here. It just saves me, you know, needing to pull up different things. It's all right here. Um, I can go 
uh, oops, elephant graveyard. Get rid of this. Uh, what did I do that for? I just go, let's go back a step. It's just loading. Sorry, slow internet at the moment. Get rid of that. Swap that out. Come in. Uh, come in. Nope, that's not the one I want on this one. Select that. And now what I want to do is again. Let's come in here. Let's go to the settings. Let's do not ask for the email address. Connect the email marketing. Um, main list, confirm, tag the customers with Elephant Graveyard customers because it's the same product. Um, you could use AWeber settings. Uh, and But now, um, well, it's, it's functionally the same product, but we're not actually selling the same product. We're selling a discounted product because it's got a different price assigned to it. So we want to come here and we want to use Elephant Graveyard. Uh, where is it? Um, uh, Elephant Graveyard special discount and click confirm. And uh, that is all there is to it. So if we were selling physical and digital, uh, we could add two products here and then allow customers to choose the product to buy. Um, and again, add more products, but I'm not going to do that. Um, and we're done. We've just, I need to make that close. We've just created, I said I wasn't going to do it. I just did. I just created my entire funnel, at least from the website perspective. But it just sits here and doesn't do anything. Oh, no, I need to delete this. Sorry, folks. Let's, let's, get, rid of, let's get rid of this unnecessary block. What did I do here? Um, what's happening? This block. There we go. Get, oh, wait. Did I just delete the wrong one? I did. Let's... I confuse myself, so maybe it's not a great idea to try to take that shortcut. Um, it's just taking a second. That's uh, that's the one we want to leave. This is the one we want to get rid of. Um, and there we go. And let's just double check that we did that right. Uh, Elephant Graveyard Capstone. Yep. Yeah. And the product is um, which one did we add here? Elephant Special Discount. Okay, just making sure. So we're done. I said I wasn't going to do it. I've created an entire funnel. The The only problem is the funnel just sits here and doesn't do anything unless we connect email marketing. So I'm not going to walk you through that entire process, but I'm going to show you how easy it is. And then I'm going to leave you to, to, to do it once we set up our first email. You just come to email and automations, and then you come to automations. And then you click uh, create an automation, and let's give it a name. I'm just going to call it test automation. And I'm going to click submit. And then I'm going to create, click trigger, and I'm going to add a new trigger. And I'm going to say when tag is uh, added, and I'm going to say select uh, trigger, uh, select tag. And then I'm going to select, um, let's see, what was it? JO subscribers. And I'm going to click confirm. And I'm going to click there to make sure it's correct. And I'm going to get out of here. Now I'm going to click uh, an action, which is to send an email. Then I'm going to uh, Type in us. Well, we don't need to type in a subject yet, actually. By default, you should see your email address here. Uh, once you've verified your domain, you can click Start Building the Email. That's going to take you here. But now I want you to come over here and ignore all of this for now. Come down to the categories and come to, for this particular strategy, Funnel Quick Start. We've also got Funnel Deep Sale. But here's Quan Funnel Quick Start. We've got six pre built emails for you. Select the first one and go through this. This is a simplified email where you really don't need to change anything. You should probably add your name to the signature, but you don't need to change anything in the copy. Add your file by clicking there and then going to your files and then adding, you know, a zipped file. Um, I've have I done this. There's my free track that's zipped. I select it. I select it. I come now add a streaming one uh, so that if people are on mobile, they can listen to it immediately. I come to files, click on that. I want to add my M direct MP3 unzipped version of the song. You could add Dropbox. You could add um, Google Drive, anything you want. Read through everything. Make sure it's OK, but it's designed to be foolproof. Add, add your name, and then you're going to want to come down here. And these emails are a little different than what I traditionally have done. These emails push a little bit harder to get you to buy the album. So let's sub this out with album artwork. It looks a little bit better if you create an album uh, uh, icon with 
a little bit of uh, padding around it. Otherwise, it'll be flush. I like it better anyway. And we just come in here and we change our name. Uh, John, uh, da, 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 what? it's not my name. It's Elephant Graveyard is available now. And we, we're already in here. We come to the button. We add a link and we take people to the uh, funnel step, which is sales page. And that's it. We click save. Uh, we can send ourselves a test email if we want. Oh, we need to add a subject line. So um, I didn't go over that with you. I guess I will. Uh, let's let's uh, edit the email. These headers here, these are your subject lines. Uh, you can leave the header in or remove it. Up to you. I'm leaving it in. And now I'm going to paste that in here. I should have copied that previously, but I didn't. And there, we're done. Now we add a delay of time. You do whatever you want. I'm going to go with delay of specific amount of time, go with one day, and then add another email, send email, start building the email, come back to the quick start, go with email too. And uh, this is where uh, it gets kind of fun and where this funnel differs from others. Instead of sending people to pages on our website, which you can still do, but again, it requires a little more work, a little, a little bit of a greater understanding of what you're doing. We're just going to send people links to music videos. They don't have to be big, high produced music videos. They can be lyric videos that you can get for 20 or $30. Heck, you could just go get yourself some free editing software, upload an image of yourself, lay some music behind it and use that if if you have to will a produced good looking music video do better it will uh it will a cheap homemade lyric video or even no lyric video work yeah it will uh, so just do what you need to do to get going check out your results and improve things along the way you know ready fire aim not not ready aim fire that takes too long just start doing and then improve things later so we want to click on that let's just uh i've got some links here uh just pull a video off of youtube or Vine vimeo i've got a uh, let's see a vimeo lyric video i'm going to add that there i'm going to click select now i'm going to add the image uh, i'm going to upload a file i've got some thumbnails here i'm just going to grab them there we go um, just gonna add that click that click select and now we're taking people to a music video that in this case just lives on Vimeo you could go there and add a link to your sales page in the uh, description if you wanted but we're also we're gonna come here and we're gonna add our album again so they're gonna get a series of emails with music videos in them by default it's two you could add more um, but that's uh, that's all we're doing. And we're, we're saying, Hey, here's some music now come in and, uh, buy our, you know, if you like it, please buy our album. And you'll see that a uh, portion of your, uh, the people going through your funnel will like your music and will buy your album. If they don't, we're going to send people to a limited time, uh, offer. And, uh, we've got those, uh, different emails here in the system. If we just come back to the funnel, uh, quick start we've got email one which delivers the download email two which takes them to a music video email three that takes them to a music video and email four which uh says that you know basically interjects a reason uh, why you want to run this promotion which is in this case that you're very thankful for all the kind words and comments that you got about this music video so you're offering a 20 percent discount for three days um uh, it will expire soon. Click here. And that takes people back to that uh, limited time offer page with a countdown timer on it. This reminds them the next day. And this reminds them uh, the day after that, that there's just one more day. And that's how easy it is to get everything up and running. Just grab the template, add it. And you could this send this email immediately give a one day delay for this one a one or two day delay for this one and then a slightly bigger delay so if you went uh immediate one one then maybe two or three and then one and then one uh as your as your delays um and send those emails out and you'll see you will see get enough people through your funnel and you absolutely will see um, some sales you would simply click save when you were done and uh when you're when you were all done, you would set, do a couple more things. You'd set a goal. You'd add a new goal, which is that when somebody, uh, when a tag is added for 
Elephant Graveyard customer, uh, you're telling this the system that that's the goal, and you now want people to you want this automation to end for anyone who gets the customer tag applied, um, and now. Uh, we need to turn on the campaign by coming here and selecting yes, and now we're done. Again, you need to add your emails, but this is a completely uh, finished campaign, uh, this one here. Um, it's live and active. Anyone who gets that tag is going to get added to this automation, and anyone who uh, gets the customer tag added because they bought the product, uh, is for those people, this campaign is going to stop. Now, I want to quickly delete that in case I've got anybody in here that's tagged. Um, but you can come in here, and this is a deep sale funnel, but you can see the automation flow and how something like this looks. And you can add all kinds of um if the if this then that kind of conditions, uh, but it's it's pretty straightforward. It should be pretty understandable um, based on what you've seen in this video. And if you have any questions whatsoever, get in touch with me by uh, going to the support tab or just emailing support at tunepipe.com. Absolutely here to help. Uh, I want to see you succeed with this stuff. Um, this video took, I'll admit, a little longer than I thought uh, it was going to take. I thought it was going to be a 15 minute video, and it turned out to be longer, but uh, I think it's important. It really shows you everything that you need to see. And I think that even though it, it took us a little bit of time here, um, you know, today to get through everything in less than 35 minutes, uh, we've built a complete marketing funnel or more or less built a complete marketing funnel while I talked you through the entire thing. So you get a sense of how fast uh, you can do this. All right, so I'm not going to take up any more of your time. I just wanted to share this really powerful feature for you and show you how um, unintimidating it ultimately is. I want you to go, if you haven't done so already, just go create a quick start funnel, get up and running, start driving traffic, see those numbers come in, split test elements in your funnel and start having some fun with it. That's what Tomb Pipe is here to do. All right, there you go. That is me building a funnel from scratch uh, in TunePipe. Now, uh, I, I still need to go in and add four more emails. Um, the process is the same, so you get the idea. In the interest of time, uh, I, I sort of cut us short there a little bit but that was like 35 minutes while I was talking um, so you know you add 10 more minutes for those remaining emails and I did catch a little uh, section here or there where I forgot to sub in my name so I, I could probably go over that with a slightly finer tooth comb uh, but you get the idea that was more or less me building a traffic ready funnel from scratch in as little as 45 minutes now as I as I said in that lesson that was me building a quick start Start funnel and a quick start funnel is a get you up and running quickly funnel. It is not the most advanced funnel strategy, as you saw. I didn't add uh, upsells or downsells, and that's a huge part of this. You can add one click upsells and downsells and bump offers um, and do so much more. Add follow up funnels and really turn uh, your online platform into a powerful business, uh, effectively a sales force that is out there converting strangers into fans and fans into customers 24 7 so you know we all are familiar with how powerful touring is because we go out there we get in front of people we build an audience we build a relationship with that audience and people spend money with us and touring is fantastic and you should do it if you can but it's not scalable and most of us don't want to be on the road for the rest of our lives so with a system like you just saw with funnels and you can go out and grow that audience 24 7 and you can scale in a way that you simply can't with uh with touring and there is no easier way to do this than with tune pipe uh as i say there are other funnel builders on the market they're typically uh, not built for musicians so most of their funnel strategies don't even apply to you guys and they frankly cost a heck of a lot of money the leading uh, solutions out there start around a hundred dollars can go up to three hundred dollars a month um there are 
our e-commerce solutions. You guys uh, all know the companies we're talking about. They they start around thirty dollars a month, but to get any kind of functionality like you're seeing here, you're typically adding a ton of apps, and they can very quickly add up into the hundreds of dollars a month, especially with the different fees associated with some of the different apps. So it can get really expensive. Tomb Pipe, uh, again, it's free to start. You can try it free for fourteen days. Try all of the features. Nothing held back. Um, and if you decide to stick our plans, they start at $19.95 a month, which is just a tremendous value for all of this stuff that you get. Uh, if you go with the Website Plus Funnels plan, which is frankly what, what that's far and away our most popular plan, that sells for just $29.95. So we're still talking um, an equivalent amount of money to uh, just one of the, it's not even fair to call them comparable services because they can't do what this, what TunePipe can do. But um, you know, just one of those alternative services that you're pro probably already using or familiar with. So really inexpensive. I, tr I, anyone who knows me knows I try to keep my prices down, and that's what I've done here. I've built in pretty small margins into this, in the belief that uh, if I serve a lot of people and make the value uh, clear and obvious, um, then then TunePipe will succeed. And that's how I'm approaching this. So check it out. Head on over to TunePipe.com. Try it free for 14 days. Uh, I, think, I think you'll be blown away by what you can do. And there is an in-depth learning center. Uh, just kind of watch over my shoulder and do what I do. Uh, and you'll be up and running in no time with some pretty advanced funnels. And I'm always adding to that. I've got an in-depth FAQ. And we're always available via email to uh, help you out. Uh, I'm, I'm dead set on making TunePipe the go-to solution for independent musicians who want to actually market their music instead of just sitting there and um, uh, subscribing to the if you build it, they will come mentality. Um, and so uh, I, I'm, I'm here to help you. Um, I'm here to ensure that it becomes exactly that. So you know, just get in touch if you ever have any questions. Okay, uh, I've been talking long enough. That's me. That's Tomb Pipe. Uh, depending on where you're watching this, you should probably see a link or a button somewhere below uh, the video or nearby on the page. Check it out. I, I, I believe you'll be happy you did. All right, thank you for watching and take care.